Man, I don't know how many of you watch these late at night, but coach shit. But I'm so excited. I'm like giddy. I'm pacing. Tomorrow's Friday. We're going to get our YOLO on. You know, we got, you guys are on the stream. My phone's going off. I just get ready. No, but tomorrow's going to be crazy. There is a special event in the market tomorrow, and that is going to be the quad witching. I'm going to stop pacing here in a second, but let me get this out of here. But the quad witching is essentially an event where it can induce a lot of volatility, not so volatility, but volume, but where the markets are now with it being a Friday set up with options and weekly. Man, this is this is TTF call, baby, where dreams come true right here. Cash money records, you know, th it's going to be fun. Definitely going to be very uh, gambly and not, you know, definitely very risky trading. Paper trade, watch it. Throw $50 at it. I don't know your guys' situation, but learn from this. The, this is interesting because if it's not volatile, it could chill out. We're going to see. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm looking for right now, what I'm going to look into tomorrow, what kind of play to roll today, and things right now as I'm talking, like China's down, uh, Japan, other markets, and I'm going to show you those things I'm looking at, and tomorrow's going to be interesting, but... Let's talk about the quad witching. We're going to be on streaming tomorrow, 6 a.m. You guys are new. Again, this video is posted at a weird time. A lot of videos, but subscribe, stock market. I just want to see you guys on the stream. Yeah, you just watch the videos. Anyways, let's get to it. The quad witching is, and I want you guys to go and Investopedia. There's no point in me trying to explain it better than they can. And if you ever hear me say stuff and it's confusing, Google that. You'd be surprised what you could learn from a tool like Google. It's amazing. And their stock, uh, go see the video I just posted on Facebook. They're kind of related to that, but I covered my Google puts. But that's not what we're going to talk about. The quad witching, essentially, it's when four different, you know, ex the expiry tomorrow, December 21st, is a big ex expiration date. I have a lot of options expiring. Um, but this is one of those expirations where like stock futures indices uh, index on the stocks go like I said go look it up but pretty much all of these options expire on the same date four different time all at the same time so people are going to be covering rolling positions doing all sorts of stuff that could have contributed to the volume today but that's what we're going to see hopefully this video isn't making you guys dizzy I don't know maybe I should stop pacing that's what I do when I'm on my my phone calls and I'm busy but yeah so there's going to be a lot of volume. I'm going to be playing stuff. Uh, I think it's going to be fun with weeklies, like I said, um, to see what happens and just coming in, setting us up into this final week before Christmas, the rally. Go watch the other videos. Uh, I don't know. You guys will get to see them. <laughs> you get to see the, uh, the beat I had up there. Uncle Answers was working on some tracks earlier. But, yeah, it's overall, this is it's going to be fun. I'm going to show you guys some stuff here. With the markets, uh, what I'm looking for and just coming into all this, you know, it's going to be crucial. And, you know, we're at a low. Again, like I said, coming into it with this low, if we don't get any volatility, if we don't make any moves, I'd be surprised. But be expected to see some big moves. And, uh, you know, I'm surprised to see who's going to hold into Friday. That's what I was looking for today. That's what I was talking about on stream. So we're going to see. But. Oh, and make sure to make sure you guys stay hydrated at all times. That's uh, very important as a trader. The jewel pods, uh, probably not. I need to stop those, but maybe we should invest in Altria. Um, but here's Shanghai. They're down. Um, the next thing, my chart is being uh, weird on my, you know, smaller charts um, when I do the smaller time frames, but. Oil's down. This is something to know. Uh, it was taking, you know, the S&P was taking cues from it today. Uh, that's why I, I wish my one-minute chart was better to show you guys because that's what I look at on the other one. But oil's hitting these lows. I made that video talking about oil and why it's so important and where you guys need to look from here. Because if it keeps going down, that's going to set important levels. And it's doing, you know, what oil's doing is breaking that level of 2015. Um, which was 2015 was the flash crash, but then we go back even now. When was the first oil crisis? Yeah, that late 2014, and that that pretty much was the first. No, no, no. Yeah, so there's two pretty much points in 2016, but this point is crucial. You're you're seeing a lot of markets are hitting this point, and this is all kind of a flash point of emerging market uh, issues. You know, there's price points, and even what this means on where the S and P is. They even have an S and P fair value on this. So. The market's at a dangerous point, but again, 
I'm, it's either we could see something like February where we in that, if this accelerates, we're gonna see those declines and it's just gonna keep sliding very viciously or we could expect some sort of savior to come in. But again, these price points are important. So oil is gonna be something to watch, but the same thing applies here with the yen. So here is the, the Japanese yen and I was talking about this in the other video, but I'll show you guys here why I think I'm looking at this for cues. Again, I explained it in the past videos with the Fed relating to their central bank, their central bank policy, what their rates and everything and how Japan is linked to us. So, and again, and how to use indicators like this is these are on and off. That's why I'm saying what is going to take the cue? There's a chance it could be nothing and that's what we could see, but we're gonna see how European markets and Asian markets are closing today. But again, here's the SPY. Here's the yen today, and at, so, at one point right here, that big drop, the yen was leading it before the market did it on the time frame. So watch this. Again, this website's Trading Economics. You guys could check it out. It has all the currencies, the stock markets. Um, I don't even get anything to tell you that, so subscribe to my channel. Um, but <laughs> we're going to be looking at that. Uh, again, here's Shanghai, and now that's the important part too. Shanghai here, I don't know if you guys see, this point, it's breaching those lows we had from October 18th. But then the next part, this is where Shanghai had, or Shanghai, you know, China, this is their first bubble. This was the first bubble that started in 2014. And again, this coincides with when oil started to drop. Uh, I said, I go check out the Warren Buffett freestyle. Oil, you know, it led, cheap oil led to emerging market boom, but then we saw this catapult down and this kind of is reminiscent of the US stock market. If it, it, to a degree, we could be seeing what this could have been 2018 2017 to 2018 and then once it kind of breaks we go from there it, it looks very similar uh, we might see that but the fact that it's breaking this point again that's what we're looking for to see what new levels are set and if you go see the video i was talking about where i said you know global markets are collapsing if we go look the markets that are open right now here's japan nikki and china uh, you know japan and china are open we're waiting but Again, what happens to these markets, like again, Japan's just crashing. If these start setting their new lows and Japan's market is very important. You see out of all the markets I showed in that video, Japan's market is most like our market where a lot of the emerging market or even Asian countries, because Japan is not really emerging market. They had a bigger crash, so but they've kind of recovered like us. Again, them going down is that big thing to watch because they're giving up those lows now, 2018, and now here's 2017. But for them, it's it's kind of far just like it is for us. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I want to see Facebook, if any news emerges on that. Uh, Johnson & Johnson, I, I want to see the weed bill, what that does for the stocks. But overall, tomorrow is going to be crazy. It's going to be fun with the options. So be careful. Make sure you guys get on the stream. Um, and then, too, we still... And the news has been back and forth with the government spending bill, but honestly, I don't think that's going to have as much of an issue as some of these emerging market issues, rates, and then a further inversion of the yield curve. Uh, you know, it was the two year and the five years that were flattening. Now the two and 10, and even the long end of the curve is flattening. So a lot of stuff is going on. And I said this in the last video I posted before this, before the Facebook one, but go look through these other videos. I explained it, you know, the how there's future pricing. I know there's a lot of videos to scan through and I apologize, but you know, spend like 20, 30 hours. It'll, uh, it'll all add up and make sense. That's what Spence said. So take that into consideration. Um, it's going to be fun though. We got some plays. Uh, I'm going to maybe sell some premium on this account. I'm seeing that, but where the market goes from here, it's been ugly. It's, it's been exciting, uh, honestly, but it's going to be crazy. It, it really is, and what to look for is just news. Um, but the quad witching, it's going to bring our volume. That's pretty much it. You guys are new. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. If you guys, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm really excited. I have to make this uh, video. Um, there's one more thing. I don't know. Should I keep this in? I know Walter, he asked me. He said I'm not a robot. So let me see. FX. Oh, Europe. Um, 
No, wait, I was going to show you guys the other stock markets, but they're not open yet. Well, now it's pre-market for Europe. Oh, man. I don't know if that's accurate. If those are down 2%, that's going to be bad. But we're going to see. I love you guys. Um, I had one more thing to say, but there's going to be a quad witching. The market's going to be crazy. Tomorrow's going to be a great opportunity to flip some weeklies. It's going to be gambling. The casino's open. Um, yeah. All right. Love you. Peace.